We are here at the Seminole Soccer Complex where we have just witnessed two top five ranked teams battle for the last game of the regular season. In a physical battle, the game remained scoreless until the 79th minute when freshman Jody Brown secured one for the Seminoles. In the final minute of the game, she did so again, resulting in a 2-0 victory for the Florida State Seminoles. First thing was going on, just get behind the back line. Um, as you can see, I'm faster than them, so I just use my strength and just get behind the back line and just focus on the goal. You know, I think that there's a lot of different elements uh, to her game. Uh, certainly her, her quickness, her explosion, her speed are, are all part of it uh, in the physical dimension, but she's much more than simply an athlete. Her, her quality with the ball, her ability to escape pressure, uh, dribble the goalkeeper, and, um, and finish uh, pretty good too. So I think that we have a, a big talent with Jody Brown, and uh, I think she, she showed that today. It's amazing. It's been a while. Um pretty good um, for the team. I mean, we have done so much work and we just want to just clear it and unbeaten. I think that uh, our kids played very well uh, through the course of the season and to end with Duke and Clemson back to back, two top level teams with um, talent all over their roster and great coaches. Uh, um, I think it uh, certainly speaks to the quality that we have as well. The victory allowed the Florida State Seminoles to secure the number one seed going into the ACC tournament that will kick off November 10th in Cary, North Carolina. For Seminoles.com, I'm Alex DiCapua.